it's Adria. Welcome back to my channel, or if it's your first time stopping in, hello, I'm Adria Killin, as in Killin my old iPhone because I just got a new one. That's the best I got. <laughs> so for today's video, I am super excited. Nothing this exciting typically happens in my everyday life, but uh, yesterday I went and I got a brand new iPhone. Maybe you saw my last iPhone unboxing video last year around April. I got the iPhone SE. If you haven't seen that, I will link that up here in the cards. Really love that phone. My biggest problem with it was I didn't have enough space. I'm with AT&T and right now AT&T is doing like a buy one get one free. If you open up a new line then you get a new phone. I just canceled my account and joined Brandon's. We got buy one get one free. Which phone did I get? <laughs> Some people were speculating on my Twitter. If you don't follow me on Twitter, follow me. Kill a panda bear. Kill a like it's cool like I try. But I got the da 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 da. 8 plus in the 64 gigabytes in gold. I know it looks white, but it has like the gold sides and everything. And some people might be like, why didn't you get a ton of storage? Is it like 250, 260? I just didn't see needing more than the 64 gigabytes. I don't take like 200,000 selfies every day. I'm not that conceited. And believe me, I wouldn't have gotten this if there wasn't the buy one, get one. Maybe I would have. I was emotionally prepared yesterday to walk out of AT&T with my SE. A lot of people were asking if I was going to get the iPhone X. I thought about, I definitely was a bit tempted. I've seen some mixed reviews about the X, but I haven't heard anything bad about the 8 Plus. Carrying a thousand dollars worth of technology in my hand at a given time makes me a wee bit unsettled. I don't need the latest and greatest phone while this one did come out just a few months ago, there is already something newer. Can you believe it? I've never been one of those people I need the latest and greatest phone. I had the 4S for like five years. I'm cool with that. The two biggest things for me was I want a nice camera and I'd like some storage to be able to store some nice quality pictures on. So I wasn't like, I need the iPhone X. I need the sleekest and most innovative thing ever made. Enough of my babbling. You're probably skimming a timestamp of when she actually shows you the phone. So here it is. Let me get my other phone to compare the size. Oh, my cute little baby phone. I already kind of miss it in an odd way. I don't know. It fits in my hand so perfectly. I'm a one-handed texting kind of person. So this is the size of the iPhone 5. Then there is this one. So it is significantly larger. I could be wrong here, but I'm pretty sure it's the same size as the 7 Plus. So it's about 2.30 in the afternoon. I went and got this around 5, 6 o'clock last night. So I've had this for about almost a full day. So I can give a little bit of a review. But first, let's do the most satisfying thing in the entire world and take all the plastic off of it. Adria, how did you keep the plastic on it for almost an entire day? Girl, I honestly don't know. The guy at the store was about to do it. I'm like, please don't. Oh my gosh, it wraps around. Oh my gosh, I didn't realize it wrapped around. Okay, sorry if I ruined your ASMR. Here we go. Oh, <laughs> oh, okay. What are the big differences that I've already noticed. Number one is the button is no longer on top. Adria, you're just now getting to that? Yes, I'm sorry. I've always been someone that's late to the game. It is a bit of an adjustment having the button on the side. If I would be using someone else's phone and then go to turn it off, I'd be like, what? <laughs> Another huge difference is there is no headphone jack cord port whole thing. It did come with an adapter in the box, so if you still want to use old headphones or plug it into the aux cord in the car and listen to the Caillou theme song, you can totally do that. Another big difference is obviously the size of it. That is something that I'm still getting used to and I'm making myself nervous by not having a case on this. It feels very much like a huge thing that I will drop. And the size of my SE never bothered me until people were like, huh, your phone's so cute and tiny. What's that supposed to mean? I feel like you're coming for my manhood. Sizes and everything. One of the things I did like about having a tiny phone was I feel like nobody could really see what I was doing. I feel like people are like, because people are just weird. I don't know. Another huge difference is the display. It has a much nicer and clearer display. As you can see, I mean, it's just, 
Oh, I feel like if I would look at my other phone for too long when I was tired at night, it would kind of make my eyes hurt. It takes you to stuff pretty fast. I mean, watch this. All right, I'm gonna search up Caillou. I don't, I don't know what my thing with Caillou is today, but watch how quick it comes up. Ooh, ah, uh, yeah. I mean, the speed is just great. I was pretty used to how slow my SE was. You kind of get used to having not the best thing and it's just your normal. So then when you get something new, you're like, your girl finally has more than 16 gigs. I just wanna say people gave me crap for not getting 64 with my last phone, but before that I had only had eight gigabytes. I was doubling my space, which at the time seemed like more than enough, but quickly you fill up 16 gigabytes pretty fast. So I didn't feel like I needed it. I'd kinda like to be able to take more than five pictures. Thank you. So here is my home screen. Up at the top, I have my camera, my photos, calendar, weather, then Facebook, Snapchat, Instagram, Twitter, which you should follow me on all of those, by the way, if you don't. Then we have YouTube, Facebook Messenger, then this little folder right here. These are all just like, photo apps, things like that. Then this is just a little utilities folder in here. We have the iTunes store, app store, notes, clock, calculator, contacts, maps, Bitmoji, and, oh, am I going the wrong way? Oh. <laughs> Voice memos and find iPhone. And here we just have my online banking, PayPal, receipt hog, Amazon, and wallet, dictionary, Bible inspirations, and the Bible itself. Then in my next folder, we just have health and monthly cycles for ya girly time. Let's see, then we have FaceTime, Yahtzee, Fightless, Safari, FameBit, which is like a sponsorship app, Patreon, and Teespring, which is like merch and stuff like that. Okay, so then on the next page, this is like where all the new apps with this phone came in. These are apps that I didn't have on my old phone. Files, Clips, GarageBand, iMovie, iTunes U, Keynote, Numbers, and Pages. Yeah, then down at the bottom, I have my phone, settings, texts, and email. Your girl needs to check her email. <laughs> Let me just say, like, this makes you very insecure. I'll just take an impromptu selfie. Ooh, oh my gosh, it makes me look old. Okay, ah, it's good quality. I don't know how well you can tell in here. Adria, just insert it in the video. No, I'm lazy. Okay, I mean, let's see the video though. Wow, that looks cool. So clear, there's my Christmas tree, oh. Maybe I will insert that so that you can see it. Oh, I filmed it long ways, I'm like a mom. <laughs> we filmed like this in 2017. <laughs> Oh, Brandon sent me some cookies. I finally have the new emojis. I was so salty the other day because I tweeted something like, why don't they have a broccoli emoji? And someone literally tweeted me a broccoli emoji. I, girl, I was living in the dark ages. I didn't know. Something else is the battery life is amazing. I didn't charge it last night and when I woke up, it hadn't lost any battery. I mean, with my SE, I would have to charge my phone like twice a day. I'll show you everything that came in the box. Does it even say eight plus anywhere? I don't even think it does besides on the bottom. Hello. It doesn't even say what model it is on the back. I guess they're like, you're probably not gonna forget. It did come with the, I think these are the cordless headphones, aren't they? Honestly, I haven't even really looked in here. Oh no, these are not cordless. They kind of tricked me. <laughs> Oh, nice, okay. And this cord is a lot longer than the old headphones. Same little buds, but the different little pluggy at the end. And it came with the little cube. Do you guys call this a cube? I don't know, in my house, whenever someone needs a charger, they're like, do you have your cube? This is oddly satisfying how they tied this up. Like, in headphone jacket, da 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 Oh, did it have the adapter in it? Am I missing that? What the heck, spec? Where's that? Okay, I thought I lost it, but uh, here it was hidden on the other side of this. So this is a little adapter for headphones. Oh, it's cute. So I was curious, I'm like, so can you not have your headphones and it charging at the same time? What if your phone's at 10% but you also want to watch the latest Trisha Paytas video with your headphones in? I guess it's like, hey, your screen is so huge People are gonna know what you're watching anyway, so you might as well not even use headphones. So far, I am completely in love with the iPhone 8 Plus. I feel like it was a good choice. I do sort of feel a bit sad 
about letting go of my SE, especially because I had a bunch of cute phone cases. Maybe I'll show those right now if you guys are interested. I just had a few. This will be quick. <laughs> I had this case, which was a because of a case. They sent this to me to review. Uh, I also had this little ducky case, which Brandon got for me. This was my favorite case. I feel like the worst part about getting a new phone is then all of your cases are pretty much useless. Oh well. Then I just had this case. Pretty cool. It's clear. Has a little flap on it. I also had a Lumi, which I never actually used, which I feel kind of sad about because these are really cool. It like lights up and you can take a well-lit selfie with your phone. I had a few more. I just had a clear one. Uh, I had this Galaxy spec case. Uh, this pink silicone one. It's like the same color as my background. This one, Caseology. Then just this one. The ducky one and the pineapple one. I'm kind of sad that like I can't use them now. But I'll get new cases. We already did order cases and screen protectors. So before anyone's like, girl, you're walking around unprotected. I'm like, girl, believe me, I know. I don't want to go anywhere. I'm not going to the gym without protecting my child. That was my unboxing and review of the iPhone 8 Plus. I hope that you guys enjoyed it. And if you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button down below. I post videos two times every single week. And and if you want, you can find me on all my various social media. We can keep in touch and be besties. Thank you to everyone on my Patreon who continues to support me. You guys freaking awesome. You know who you are. I will see you guys again real soon. Until then, panda hugs. I love you guys. Bye! Oh, and stay tuned because I'm probably going to be dyeing my hair pink soon. Wait, what? Okay, bye! <laughs>